What is going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Y'all know I need y'all to like, comment, share the video. Everything in this video is public information. Everything is allegedly. Y'all know I do these to talk to the youth. That's it. Let's get right into it. So tonight we're gonna talk about the eight tray gangster Crips, the ETG. The ETG Crips originated in Los Angeles, California in the 1970s, spreading around the US and eventually hitting Baltimore City in the 2000s. Sets like the Back West ETG Crips and the Nutty Northside ETG Crips hit the Baltimore streets hard. A Trey was operating in West Baltimore. The Baltimore Hilton neighborhood, even parts of Fremont by Lexington Terrace. Even spreading to Northeast Baltimore by Frankfurt and St. Clair Lane. The squad used violence to keep their territories, flooding the streets with drugs and fear. Alleged leader Trayvon Hall, AKA G, made sure his set was official, even flying out to Cali around about 2013 to meet with West Coast leaders for approval. When Hall got back to the city, the gang set up shop, hitting the block with smack, girl, and grass. The ETGs were in full effect controlling their territories with violence and forcing anyone who wasn't affiliated out the hood. Main shot was Baltimore Hilton, where the Back West ETGs were called headquarters. Just like other Baltimore squads, the gang used social media to state claims to certain neighborhoods. Member of the ETGs posted pics and rap videos with blickies, taunting ops and damn others to get in their way. The gang had beef with BGF, the Black Gorilla family, who also had a shop in the lesser than terrorist part of West Baltimore. Things would get ugly in June 2016. The ETGs attempted to hit two BGF members, but ended up hitting two other people. Allegedly, Hall would double back and hit a BGF member in July 2016 in the 4800 block of Midline Road. Also, Hall was said to have open fire and a group of BGF members in November 2016. Hall allegedly sent text to another member explaining the hidden details, saying they weren't even expecting me to come out so early. I caught them off guard. The set and leader was vicious, going to any organization in the area that wasn't game. Civilians in the neighborhood was terrified, but of course with all this activity, police was hot on the gang's trail and hit the squad with a 10 member indictment, accusing the game of conspiracy, robbery, hits, witness intimidation, and other drug excuse me, other drug charges. The EGT even had the jails on fire. One member, Sergeant Antonio Fordham, now this is a whole nother video I'ma do, but I'ma give y'all a brief on this, was working as a CO, running the operation at work and then when he got off, he would run the operation in the streets. 26 people with his camp was allegedly indicted as well. That's a whole separate case. All right, man. So where do I start? ETG, a trade Gangsta Crip. For y'all that don't know, like I just said, that's a set that came from California. Now, Hall did go to Cali and make sure his set was legit. I feel like with social media and stuff like that, that make things like this possible. Because I know when I was when I first moved down south and stuff like that, it was a lot of questions about gangs. People was like, oh y'all ain't get y'all name from Cali, or y'all ain't get y'all set from Cali, then y'all not official. Cause y'all know that's like considered the motherland, you feel me, for all gangs. Well not all gangs, but okay. bloods, crips, stuff like that. Chicago like BDs, GDs. But anyway, so man. Bro went over there, he talked to who he needed to talk to, he got the set on and popping. He came back home with the information, with the wisdom he needed to set up shop or whatever. Now, this crazy because it's a story I did maybe like a few days ago about Northeast Baltimore, the a trade Gangsta Crips. So this the same organization that was operating on two different sides of town. Now, some of these members face 40 years, 20 years. I think 
bro face life. The leader, he face life. Like they trying to, they trying to get bro like the death penalty or something like that if he get convicted. Now y'all know I gotta talk to the youth for a minute. Now, y'all hear this story, you feel me? It might sound good, it sound glamorous, like bro had the street cred, he was out here paying them work, stuff like that. But also you gotta learn from people's mistakes. He text somebody after he did, allegedly, all this alleged, he text somebody after he did a hit and said exactly what happened. Police got his phone, linked that back to him, also social, me social media, Instagram, stuff like that. So for all you youngins, man, that like going on Instagram, posting the blickies, posting the money, I didn't even see youngsters on there with smack, posting they smack. Like, that's wild. Like, we would have never did that when I was growing up, but I accept the fact it's a new day and age, but you gotta be smart, man. And I'm gonna tell y'all one, one thing that I realized when I came home from prison, man, and I started working, got my wife, got my kids. Man, being regular is cool. Being regular is gangster. Ain't nothing wrong with being regular. Ain't nothing wrong with going to work, coming home, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with taking care of your family. And in some situations, you can make more money at a job than the streets. If you don't know what you out there doing, I know a lot of dudes that ain't making no money in the streets. They make more money going to work. So man, don't let nobody tell you you gotta be a gangster. Like, ain't nothing wrong with going to college. Ain't nothing wrong with going to school. Ain't nothing wrong with going to get you a little job. You feel me? That'll be different. If everybody around you hustling on the block, if they going left, you go right. If they go right, you go left. If they say they want to go raw, you say, no, nah, I'm going to go record a music video. If they say they going to go do this, say, no, nah, I'm going to go write some music. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's going to pay off in the long run. So, yeah, so now, bro, facing life in prison or possibly the death penalty, you feel me? So it ain't worth it, man. Y'all already know, but I got to talk to the youth. I got to reiterate that because there's some people out here lost and not even just young dudes, grown men too, you feel me? I'm still working on myself, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you got to know it ain't about nothing. Ain't nothing out there, you feel me? Like we got bigger fish to fry. Us as black men, we definitely got bigger fish to fry, man. But this is another episode of the Baltimore Way. This the eight trade gangster crip story. West Baltimore. Y'all be sure to like, comment. If you're new to the fan, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell. Be sure to share these videos. We on that race to 50K. Love y'all fam. I'm out.